Oh, guys, check it out. Look at this. This is JR. This is my new truck. Well, kind of new. It's uh, just came to me recently. Look at the, the majesty of this unit here. Oh, just giving you a quick, see, spare tire. <laughs> oh, electric car. So this, uh, this is the next project for me. We're gonna make this my, this is my, the, right now this is my vehicle. It's got some issues, so I'm gonna have to, that isn't one of them, I'm just gonna show you there. Needs a little fresh foam. By the way it looks, we got a little, a little weight reduction, as they say. This one, you know, has been previously foamed. Must have used the right foam there. That's that's holding up nice. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice truck. We got the. I'm pretty sure this this is for drag racing. I think this is a. You can adjust adjust your. You know, if it's not hooking up, you just kind of tweak that I'm pretty sure how that that's how that works but uh, oh huh. anyway this is the hind hind quarters here we got we got two balls that's you know oh see you always want your mud flap on the on the passenger side because you know that's the one that spins that's the one that's going to spin, so you need your protection there for the for the innocent bystanders. This fender's solid. We got this. I think I think this was a factory option. This the gray is it's got a texture to it. Pretty sure you paid extra for that. Thirteen horsepower. This side, you know, I don't think they even they didn't even bother to put spray foam in there. So there's a there's a bit of work to do on her. That's got the short mud flap. That's you're gonna get better better mileage with the short ones. But yeah, this front end is off a newer truck. The astute amongst you will have noticed this is a '91 half ton. It's got a the newer, I think, better looking front end. One tow hook. So what's happening with this? Well, we're stuck uh, with, I should go back. Gotta go back. So we got the 350, you know, your typical TBI 350 engine. Yeah, I got show you the inside, of course. Got the custom, custom uh, hold the door panel on self tappers. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, I mean, they can't really improve anything in here. This is, this is beautiful. But yeah, we got the, uh, the 350, this, oh, there we go. We got the 350, you know, your standard 100 and, you know, 102 horsepower, 350 from the 90s. And what happened here is, uh, like every other truck of this era, the transmission obviously went pooched at one point. And the guy, you know, he just had a turbo 350. It was just sitting there. So he put it in. So we got a three-speed. Oh, nice bus. We got a three-speed automatic, which means we got a, you know, we're driving around around here on the highway. So getting about three miles per gallon. So, yeah, we got a. Plus, this transmission has a big old howl to it, and the, well, it might be the differential, but transmission, I think, we're going to say it is. So, what are we going to do? Well, part two of the project. <clears throat> you know, the bike has almost, we got, we're almost free. It's been a long winter. We're almost ready to ride. It's melting. Here it is, guys. This is donor, donor Dan, the ambulance. 
they uh, when they retire an ambulance, turns out they uh, they take the ambulance off, and all you're left with is is this cabin chassis van unit. So yeah, this is uh, oh you see where it's going, don't you? <laughs> so we got an LS swap situation. This is an L96 six liter, 2014. This thing it's all <laughs> practically new. L96. L96. That's like variable valve timing. That's the kind of stuff we're dealing with here. Cats are cut off of this, but you can... Uh, 6L90 transmission. Six speeds. So we're going to go from three speeds to six. That's double the speeds. Just wrap your head around that for just a second. So yeah, I'm just about ready to start tearing into this. First thing will be to get this taken apart because I can I'm using everything off of this that I can for the swap. And before that happens, I need to actually I would like to get it running. I haven't heard it run. It's uh by all accounts it should. Ran to the scene of the accident, as they say. Now, this one probably to many scenes of many accidents. But uh two alternators so you know i'm gonna have to get into the audio thing now right <laughs> i can run my i can run all i can run all my lights oh, I think that'll probably change but uh yeah there we go that's the quick overview so we're taking a little break from that guy and we're gonna tie into this guy and uh yeah the weather is the weather is nice for tying into things. Look at that. Sun shining. Snow melting. Finally gone. Should clean up around here. Happy Easter.